Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make resin charms and pendants and keychains and whatever you can think of with resin. And this is going to be probably a three or four part little series. So this video is just going to show you how to pour your resin mixture, use the mold correctly, and how to use food dye and glitter when making resin charms. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is something to stir your resin in, and I'm just using these little Dixie cups. You can use plastic cups or whatever you'd like. Um, I'm just using these because I can throw them away easily afterwards and not make a mess. And then you're going to get your resin out. So this is Easy Cast. I bought this at Michael's for $13, but use a coupon. So it comes in two parts, these two. My actual resin has got kind of some sticky stuff on the bottle. So what I like to do is, you can either pour in the resin or the hardener first. I found it really doesn't make a difference for me. But um, make sure you store this in a an area where it's not too cold because it will start to harden and well, it won't harden, but it'll be harder to mix, and you'll have to use a hair dryer to heat it up, and that's not fun. So, usually how I pour, I just measure using the cap. So, I'll pour the resin into the cap, and then into the cup. And you can take a spoon then and scrape out the stuff that doesn't come out easily. And then once you pour the hardener in, you can do the resin. And it's a 1 to 1 ratio, so you don't really have to do any math or anything crazy like that. And you'll probably have some residue on your bottles after doing this. Just make sure to wipe them off afterwards or else they'll be really sticky when you handle them later. So I poured both of the mixtures into this cup and I'm using just a plastic spoon and you want to stir these but stir them slowly because if you stir fast air bubbles are going to get in and it's not going to set right. So as you can kind of see, the resin's pretty cloudy now, and you want to get it so it's clear and the two are mixed together very well. So I'm just going to do that now, and it'll take like two or three minutes. Once your resin is properly mixed, it should look something like this, and there might be bubbles and stuff in it. So you can take a straw and blow into the mixture to get rid of some of the bubbles. So all I just did was take a small drop of food coloring and pour it into my resin mixture and I'm going to stir that together now and remember you're only going to need a very small amount. So once you finish stirring in the food dye it should look something like this. And next, you're going to be taking some glitter. I'm just using some Janelle Recollections reddish fuchsia colored glitter. And you don't need very much, but you can pour that in. And then stir it up. So once you've got that all mixed together, it should look something like this. Then you're going to need a mold. I'm just using a Hello Kitty bow mold and I got this from the Jeweled Lizard. Um, I believe she has an Etsy shop and she has her own shop. I highly recommend those molds. I will include a link down below to her store. And then you're just going to pour the resin in until you get to the top.
So as you can see, I poured my resin into the top of the piece and I used um, all of it for this piece and I'm going to paint it later and show you how to pop it out of your mold in the next video. So once you get to this stage, you want to at least let this piece cure for about 24 to 36 hours depending on where you live and the temperature and stuff. But with molds like this, make sure you put it like between maybe two books that are of the same like height so it dry or yeah, it starts to dry e like even because you don't want it to be slanty and then you'd have to sand it all off and that's not fun. So I hope this guy's helped with your resin making and if you start a piece tonight, you can follow me for the next three days on how to finish it. So. Bye. If you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments and I will try to help you.